While 1959 saw America beginning to find its groove, beneath this shiny surface lay deep fears brought about by the Cold War with Russia. As part of a program of cultural detente, the American government asked Dave Brubeck to take jazz and its American values to the East. Our government wanted to impress people that were right on the border of Russia about our culture. President Eisenhower wanted us to go along the perimeter of Russia. And we opened in Poland, and then went to Turkey, Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, Iran, Iraq. We were going to represent our country, and we talked about how difficult it is to go and be the voice of freedom when you don't really have freedom yet, because the old unwritten laws of segregation. A great thing jazz has done for our country, and here we're being sent out to do it for the world. The tour was to begin in Poland, but this meant traveling through East Germany. East Berlin was not recognized by the United States, so they assigned Madame Gundulak that for some reason could go through the Brandenburg Gate. The whole scene was like a spy movie. She told me to get in the trunk of her car. I said, I won't get in the trunk of her car. I'll get in the back seat, and if I get questioned, I'm going to tell them the truth. But she got through. She brought us to a police station, and this man walked into the room and said, you are Mr. Kulu. And I said, no, I'm Mr. Brubeck. And he said, no, you Kulu. Then he pulled out a Polish paper with a picture of me, and the caption said, Mr. Kulu. And I realized I was Mr. Cool, and that was my name. Many of the ideas that we developed for Time Out came from touring in these countries, like Blue Rondo a la Turk. That's a Turkish folk beat. And then it goes into a blues. with a complete vision of the time signature experiments for Time Out. For his album of cool, rhythmic innovation, Brubeck decided that drummer Joe Morello was to be given a showcase. I heard Joe playing this beat backstage. And I said, we'll have something in 5-4. One, two, three, four, five. That's, that's right up my alley, man, you know. It's just 
spontaneous. I was looking for more colors, you know, different, different textures of sound. Boy, this is this is fine. This is gonna work. Time out was going where I envisioned jazz should go. Jazz history had been written in four four time. And you get Dave Brubeck doing a whole album with the idea of using different time signatures. told me all these crazy time signatures, that'll never sell. But the disc jockeys started playing this. We had a big hit. The idea that jazz could actually make it onto pop radio in America in the, in the late 50s, that was totally unheard of. What really works well with Time Out is that it provides an easy introduction for mainstream America to deal with new musical ideas. Mm -hmm. 